for a little while. It's Pixel Bender 3D. So you guys saw yesterday uh, in the in the uh, keynote, you saw the Molehill API. A modern 3D uh, API isn't complete without uh, modern shading language. And so what we decided to do, since Pixel Bender comes from the world of shading languages, is that we wanted to do uh, take Pixel Bender back to its roots a little bit, but beyond that, we wanted to actually add capabilities that aren't possible in the existing languages. So I've got some stuff to show you. And I'm ready to show that to you now. Okay. So, uh, you know, first off, I'm going to start with something very, very simple. Um, you know, a, a fragment shader that you may have seen. It's nothing too flashy. But, you know, so we can do very simple things like animate texture coordinates. We can, uh, you know, scale texture coordinates. And you could say, well, this just looks like sort of something I do in Pixel Bender 2D. But no, for real, we're actually doing this in, in actual 3D. And I've got the cube to show it to you. Um, so fragment shaders, that's great. That's a great place to start. But you know, you need vertex shaders too to get some really interactive, beautiful, dynamic 3D. So um, this, uh, let's say you had an arm for a character. You had a character in a game, and you had an arm, and you wanted that arm to flex. And when it flexed, you wanted the you know the bicep to bulge. So you know we we had we did a little something like this. And here we go, and now we get to crazy Popeye proportions, but you know, this is a, a Pixel Bender 3D vertex shader running in the Molehill API with uh, procedural textures. The checkerboard's a Pixel Bender 3D texture. The shading, dynamic shading's a Pixel Bender 3D texture. Um, but you know, it's not a real sneak unless I show you some code. And I'm going to do that for you now, and you know, tempt the fates. So uh, this is what Pixel Bender 3D code looks like. If you're familiar with Pixel Bender 2D, it's very, very similar. Um, we, that's on purpose. We tried to make it very easy uh, for you, who, people who've done it. Um, so this is a, 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 a simple fragment shader that takes the colors set at the vertices and just interpolates them across the face of the polygons. It looks something like this. And just to prove that I'm not uh, faking the whole thing. <laughs> Uh oh, what just happened? What did I just miss? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh oh. <laughs> you Klingon bastard, you killed my son! Uh, and so I'm building. Uh, come on. Well, you know, th this isn't our fault, this is Flex. I'm sorry, Flex. Uh, I love the Flash Builder team and the Compiler team. We're good friends. Um, so this is that shader running. Um, and there's something else I wanted to show you. So this is what the language looks like if you were going to author Pixel Bender 3D. Um, and I added uh, some printouts here to show you what it looks like if you were going to just author directly to the existing Molehill API. This is what um, the Pixel Bender 3D gets turned into in the player. Um, this is what it looks like to program the existing Molehill API. This is the code you would write for that shader. And I'm thinking this looks a lot better to write than that does. I hope you agree with that. Yeah. So one thing I want to really point out, though, in order to make this stuff work and to give you really dynamic possibilities, uh, <laughs> give you really dynamic possibilities in the player, we actually took our existing Pixel Bender compiler and ported it to ActionScript. So you have an entire middle tier of an optimizing compiler in ActionScript available as to your APIs for so you to do dynamic things with your shaders. Um, it does optimization, SSA, it does uh, fee function removal, it does uh, constant folding, all that kind of stuff. And so to end up with, I want to show you one thing that uh, is a demo that we've been working on with Gavin Miller and uh, Grayson Lang from Adobe Research. Come on. Aha. So this is uh, this is something a little bit prettier, um, and also I have to say Andre Bearfield and Kui Chen for my team. So this is uh, ripples on a pond, on a pool because uh, we're in California and there's lots of pools in the desert. Um, and so these ripples are being generated by Pixel Bender 3D. The the sky is being reflected using Pixel Bender 3D. The lighting, the dynamic lighting, is all being generated by Pixel Bender 3D. This is the kind of thing that you can do with your flash. 3D with Pixel Bender 3D. So uh, last thing, uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m., Bob Archer, Chuck Rose have a session called uh, Pixel Bender, now with 50% more D, where they're going to go into a lot more detail. And uh, hope to see you then. I have a set, I have a BYO out lab at 4 p.m. Come to that, too. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Wow. That was